All right, more breaking news coming in. This is the latest on the Kathua rape and murder case, which sent the entire nation into a state of shock. Now, today, the charge sheet has been presented before the court by the crime branch. This is an 18-page charge sheet that establishes the case against the eight accused and gives out details of the entire conspiracy and the brutality that was inflicted on this eight-year-old child who was raped, mutilated and later killed. Remember, locals in Srinagar have taken to the streets now to demand justice in this case, demanding an exemplary punishment for uh, the accused. Even as locals push for justice, there has been a group of lawyers, on the other hand, who in fact tried to stop the police from submitting the charge sheet itself against the accused on Tuesday. Let's go across to our reporter Farid who's joining us. Uh, Farid, uh, take us through the important points as far as this charge sheet is concerned, which despite the protests was actually ma managed to be submitted. Well, uh, uh, this uh, is the charge sheet, 18-page uh, uh, charge sheet that the crime branch has presented before the court. It's a detailed account of uh, this uh, horrific conspiracy uh, wherein this girl uh, was an uh, eight-year-old girl, was abducted, then uh, sedated, kept uh, in confinement inside the temple for almost seven uh, to eight days, and then uh, brutally murdered, mutilated. Uh, it is a conspiracy because it seems that they wanted to uh, uh, avenge uh, something, some incident of the past from the nomadic community, and chose this uh, poor girl uh, to settle the score. Uh, the uh, main accused... Uh, in fact, uh, abducted the girl, and then uh, the police has step by step uh, established the case, uh, got the necessary evidence, and nailed the rule of all the eight accused, including a juvenile. Uh, clearly, it seems that uh, they uh, kept her for confinement for eight days. Uh, during the time, she was tortured uh, and, uh, in fact, raped time and again, and then finally. She was killed, uh, uh, as far as the police report is concerned, asphyxia is uh, said to be the reason or cause of death, which means that she was strangulated and then finally uh, she was mutilated and her body dumped uh, very close uh, to the place where she uh, was uh, abducted or kept uh, in confinement for all that time. So this is uh, really uh, horrific in uh, many ways. This is this probably is the rarest of uh, the rare cases. And uh, uh, the crime branch has produced the chalan, the charge sheet. And uh, according to sources, now uh, uh, the the uh, the crime branch has in many ways managed to establish the case. And uh, uh, now the people uh, here in the Kashmir Valley and uh, obviously uh, the Sena lot in Jammu are demanding that there should be exemplary punishment because this is a case where. Uh, which should be seen about caste, creed, and religion, and a case which uh, demands exemplary punishment so that no one dares to do this kind of a horrific act, inhuman act, and something that has shamed humanity uh, in the future. Ab absolutely, Farid. Uh, so th th it seems like the whole thing was a completely thought out and premeditated crime here uh, that was heinous crime here that was really carried out by the accused. Well, yes, absolutely. It was very well thought out. There was a proper conspiracy. There were players uh, who uh, initially laid the groundwork for the, this cons conspiracy to be then finally uh, uh, executed. It was hatched, and uh, uh, at least three or four other players, major major conspirators, did it, and then finally they got help from three more. So uh, it is uh, well laid out. The police has step by step uh, got clinching evidence against these people, and there are confessions as well. Uh, it is uh, something that was done, obviously, with the reason uh, of uh, spreading fear, ensuring that the nomadic community there uh, is threatened to the level that sh they leave the area. So it is a very well thought out conspiracy, and that makes it even more heinous. And they used this uh, seven-year-old girl to send their uh, message across of terror, and she was used, uh, confined, raped, all kinds of brutality she was subjected to just to send this message. Uh, uh, message across. So this is a very heinous conspiracy, there's no doubt about it. And uh, uh, in fact, the crime branch has uh, nailed this in the last three months. There has been investigation, there has been evidence, DNA evidence, you have the confessions. So it seems to be a very uh, watertight case as far as these accused are concerned. Now we'll have to wait and see how the court proceeds. We know that this investigation is being uh, uh, supervised by the Honorable High Court. So we'll have to wait and see how the court uh, really proceeds on this. But it seems that uh, the prosecution has very solid evidence against the accused and there is absolutely no scope uh, for the protests that we have seen. Uh, uh, unfortunately, this case has seen 
something which is totally unprecedented. People, lawyers, uh, trying to uh, ensure that uh, there is uh, law. Uh, in fact, the natural course of justice is blocked. Uh, they uh, try to side with uh, the rapists today. In fact, uh, there is a Jammu Band call as far as the Bar Association is concerned. So right. uh, what has happened after this is unprecedented for the first time probably we're seeing right. that uh, rape and murder accused. Uh, there is an attempt to shield or protect them uh, from a large section. Right.